Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car today with the new BMW Z4. Finally, we should say, because it took a little while until the Bavarian luxury brand made up its mind and decided to go for a new open top sports car, the fourth generation. We've already driven the prototypes, we've seen the world debut in Pebble Beach and in Paris, and finally, we're supposed to drive the vehicle that is due to the market early next spring. If you want to know what to expect and if you want to know if this car is more on the comfy side like a Mercedes SLC or on the sporty side like a Porsche Boxster, join me on my test drive and I'll tell you more about it. The last set four was more the Sunday cruiser that you took out in the afternoon with your significant other to go on a stroll and have a coffee or something like that. The new set four goes back to the sports car theme, a car that you better take while you're alone and while the streets are empty because it's a car that's really made for driving. It's offered with, for the start, three engines, two two-liter four-cylinders, the Z4 20i with 197 horsepower, the Z4 30i with 258 horsepower, or the one we're sitting in here, the Z4 M40i with a proper inline six cylinder of three liters of displacement and 340 horsepower. Enough to accelerate from zero to 100 in 4.6 seconds and to easily go up to 250 horsepower. And if I would be BMW's M GmbH, I would definitely go for a proper M version because the car has the power to compete with Porsche if you give it the right engine. As long as you drive with the top closed, you can't feel a difference between the old hard top and the new soft top. Insulation is as good as before. No matter if we're talking about noise, about wind or about temperature. Even in bad weather like we have it right here along our test drives, the car is very cozy and comfortable. And even on bad roads, you don't hear more than in a regular coupe. So no step back, only benefits. Less weight, less space, the better size and shape and a faster operation because it only takes 10 seconds to open the top even while driving and I'm going to show you that in a minute when it stopped raining. The new set 4 is an open top sports car and open top sports cars need to be driven with an open top. So we don't care anymore for the weather. We just slow down for a short moment underneath 50 kilometers per hour, pull the button and wait until summer can start, no matter what's the weather outside. It takes about 10 seconds and you're sitting under the, okay, gray sky, but once the windows are closed again, you don't feel much of the environment. You hear the engine roaring, you have some breeze in your hair, but there is no rain coming in as long as it's just a bit drizzling and it's all good and it's a different type of driving because you're closer to the elements, you feel closer to the road and you have even more fun driving the new set 4. BMW has not only changed the roof back to the soft top to gain some kilos, no, they've also changed the shape. The car looks more tensioned, more muscular, more impressive. It's got a bolder appearance and they've changed the size due to their idea of driving pleasure. We got seven centimeters more width and more track. We got three centimeters less wheelbase to go around the corners faster and the car is about eight centimeters longer than before to gain some room for the passengers and for the trunk that holds 281 liters no matter if the roof is open or closed. And we got some tiny but really 
good features to enhance driving dynamics. For the first time ever, adaptive suspension. And for the first time ever, an active electronically controlled rear differential. All things that show us form and function go together. And this car is back from the cruiser side to the sports car side. The interior looks pretty familiar like we know it from all the actual BMW models. We have a big digital cockpit with new design like in X5 or 8 series. We have for the first time in the set for a head-up display. We have that big nicely integrated touchscreen and we still have the iDrive controller on the center tunnel. Short gear shifter, only a few buttons, everything driver focused because the driver is the person that plays the lead in this vehicle and nothing should distract the driver from looking to the road and enjoying the drive. Thanks for joining me on that first test drive with the new BMW Z4 Roadster. A car that goes back to its roots and that's not only due to the soft top. It's more because of the driving dynamics. It is more agile, more direct. It's just more fun to drive back to the ultimate driving machine. I'm not sure if this car alone could create a boom for the dying segment, but I'm sure if you're gonna take that car out for a spin next spring, you will have an amazing summer. Thank you, Schisje, and goodbye.